guys welcome back to my channel on breakable life um i just wanted to do an update i had knee surgery on may 18th and i just wanted to let you guys know basically the process that i went through um i had to get the COVID 19 test done before i had surgery because they told me the policy now with anyone that's basically, I guess, getting admitted or having any type of procedure or surgery, they have to have a negative COVID-19 test. So I got tested Saturday before May 18th. It was like that Saturday before May 18th. So I went to the drive up testing site at the hospital that I was having my surgery at and I drove up the lady she held up a sign for a number for me to call I called the number she asked me some questions and as she was asking the question she was putting everything into the computer and once she did that I drove up to the next little station which is basically where they come and take your temp they uh check your oxygen saturation and um they check your pulse level and your did i say temp they check your temp and um they swab your nose so it was painless because the guy was like, I don't even have to go that far up your nose, you know. So he was like, yeah, we don't even go up far that far anymore. So I was very glad to hear that. So it was very painless, just like you would go, you know, if you if suspected of having the flu, you know how they swab for the flu. So that's basically it. And so once I got done with that, I drove off and that was that. So my surgery was Monday, May 18th. So I had to report to the hospital at 6 a.m. So on arriving to the hospital, once you walk up to the hospital, you enter the door, they automatically check your temp. And if you don't have a mask, they will supply you with a mask. So once I'm done with that, they point you into whatever direction you need to go. I already knew where I had to go because I was there prior for pre-admission. So I went up to a uh, same day surgery. I checked in there. She took me to my room. Um, the gown and little socks and the little hat that you have to wear they were already on the bed she told me to change out of everything and put on the gown and the socks and the little hat and so once i did that she came back took my vitals um she started an iv and once she got done with that i talked with the anesthesiologist my doctor came and saw me he drew on my knee and i will insert pictures um of the what he drew and like when i came from surgery how they had it wrapped up and everything and then i'll try to insert some more pictures of how it looked when i uh, was able to unwrap it and everything but um after that um i think i signed maybe one more form and then they came to get me you know i was pretty shocked because usually um when you have surgery you wait like a good little minute before they take you back and then even when they take you back they take you back to like another little holding area before they actually take you to the operating room i mean i know how this process go i've had surgery more than five times so i know how this process goes but when they came and got me she said it was time to you know go back they took me straight to the operating room so um when i got to the operating room um i remember sliding over to the bed and that's about it 
I don't remember anything else from there other than waking up in recovery. I had a nurse standing over me. Um, he said that uh, I was waking up and I was in recovery and I would have to be here for another 45 minutes and then they would take me back to my room. So I'm sure I'm pretty sure I was drifting in and out of sleep you know so I remember him telling me again that in another 15 minutes they were gonna get ready to take me to my room and is there anything that I needed and I told him that I could feel my knee kind of waking up so he was like okay you feeling some pain and I said yes and so he said okay we're gonna get you something for pain so when I got to my room the nurse is the one uh, it, well, another nurse is the one that actually gave me the pain medicine. Um, <laughs> she actually said, well, um, I'm going to go and get your pain medicine and then you can go ahead and start getting dressed because we're going to go ahead and let you go. So I started to get dressed and everything. My husband was with me, so he helped me, helped me with whatever, uh, with whatever I needed. So by the time I was dressed, she came back and she said, OK, I have your pain medicine for the uh, drive home. So um, she said, I have two Percocets for you. So I took those and they worked pretty quick because on the ride home, I don't remember taking this picture, but I have a picture and I will put it in also to show you guys how I looked. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious and then my husband was telling me that I connected my phone to the radio to play music and I told him I don't even remember doing that so I'm just gonna be honest and say that the medicine had me pretty high but that was okay because I didn't want to feel any pain so um, the ride um, I really don't remember too much of the ride I'm sure I was in and out of sleep, but by the time we made it home, I was woke and more alert. So um, I had a walker. I didn't have crutches because um, I don't do too well with crutches, but he told me a walker would be fine. I could choose either or. So I opted for the walker. And um, so um, getting into the house was pretty easy. And um, I didn't have a brace on like they said I would initially. They said I would have like a immobilizer on after surgery. But I actually had just like an ace wrap on. And uh, I guess it was some gauze up underneath with some steri strips also. And um, so I got in the house and... I uh, lay down, elevated my knee and put the ice pack on it that they gave me because they gave me instructions. And on the instructions, it says to anytime you are sitting or laying to always keep it elevated above your heart. So I did that. And they say also to ice it three times a day. 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. So I did that pretty, pretty good, you know, during the recovery time. So far, I've been doing that very well because ice makes the pain numb. So um, and it helps with the swelling also. Um, compression, elevation and icing will be your best friend. So um, got home, elevated, iced, and um, I was feeling pretty good. I mean, I didn't have a lot of pain the first day home after the surgery. Now, the second day, I guess, I don't know if they like give you pain medicine and inject like uh, anesthetic in your knee and stuff. I know I read that they put like fluid in, they inject fluid in so they can like see you know, better and everything during the surgery. Um, so I guess, you know, once most of that drains out, you start to feel pain, you know, more. 
So as the days went on, I could tell, you know, my knee just, you know, it like really, really re woke up and I started to like really feel pain. So um, I had pain medicine to take. They gave me um, lower tab to take and it was every six to eight hours. So I actually kept pretty good track of like my pain because I didn't want to be in a lot of pain. So I guess my advice to someone that has to have this done, um, which is, um, is to, um, you know, when you start to feel pain, go ahead and take your pain medicine. Do not wait until it gets to, you know, until it gets real bad, because then it'll take your pain level a longer time to come down. And uh, basically what my surgeon did, he told me that I actually had two tears on both sides. So on the right side, that tear wasn't that bad. So he just had to like kind of clean it up. But on the left side, that one, he actually had to remove part of my meniscus. So he did that. And he also did what's called a lateral release where they cut the tendon. And um, I had what's called a patella tilt where my kneecap was sitting to the side. So they cut that tendon in order to make the kneecap slide back in its groove. So um, he did that and everything has been going pretty good so far. I had my two week post-op appointment yesterday and he explained, you know, everything that I just told you. That's what he told me he did. And he also said that he saw some arthritis in there. So the tears that he repaired, um, he said, those are good. I'm, I'm good on that aspect. But the kneecap, that's what's questionable right now and it's be um it's just because of i have to wait for all the swelling you know to subside and it's gonna take a good six to eight weeks for that to uh subside and then they'll see how my kneecap does and then with the arthritis um in there too and then i have to do therapy also so with all of that, you know, it's just like a waiting game now. So, but he told me, um, you know, he, he, he's, he's hopeful, you know, that, you know, I'll make a full recovery, but you know, it's just a waiting game. So I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not worried, you know, <laughs> not, not too big, just, just a little, but, um, everything has been going pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, I've had my rough days you know and then i started to have some thigh pain and um he said all of that was normal so everything has been going okay i just you know been doing everything they've been telling me to do and you know just been taking it easy because i don't want to further injure myself and then make the recovery go even longer because as you guys know i'm also um on the uh weight loss journey also and i'll talk about that more in another video update you guys on that but um i have my first therapy appointment uh on the 9th and that's next tuesday and then i have to be fitted for a brace that i'll have to wear also but um with all of that said just if anyone has to have this same surgery which is a lateral release the meniscus part is no big deal because he said if he just had to do that i would have been good in about three weeks because he said oh people will tell you they had this surgery and they were good in three weeks he was like that's not you that's not going to be you yours is it's going to be a longer recovery so and that's due to the lateral release so my advice to someone that has to have a lateral release is to take it easy. Don't try to push yourself too fast and too quickly. Just 
uh, go slow, walk slow. When you walk, walk slow, take your time. Um, be careful when you shower and everything because I turned the wrong way and I almost took myself out. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then compression, ice, and elevation will be your best friends. It make them your best friends because I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference when you you use your compression as in you take your ace bandage, ace bandage and you wrap it. That's your compression. You take your ice and you apply it and you take pillows and put them under your ankle or up under. Well, it's whichever is comfortable for you up under my they say up under your ankle. But that really wasn't comfortable for me. So I laid my pillows the long way so I could have like my foot on the pillow plus my knee also and that was more comfortable for me so those will be your best friend you know doing this process and I just want to wish everyone well and say be blessed and be careful and be safe out there and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you all have a wonderful day